Welcome to our tutorial on calculating the average working hours for employees by month in Excel. In this session, we'll explore the use of the average ifs and EO month functions to efficiently compute monthly averages based on your dataset. Imagine you're tasked with calculating the average working hours for a team of employees across different months. With a dataset that includes varying dates and corresponding hours, we'll demonstrate a streamlined approach to find these averages. Begin by organizing your dataset with dates listed in one column and the associated total working hours in an adjacent column. If you have start and end times, ensure the total hours are accurately calculated. For a more dynamic and error-free formula, name your ranges. Use the name box to label the date column, dates, and the hours column, hours. This naming will greatly simplify the formula creation process. We'll craft a formula that combines the averages function with the EO month function to calculate the average working hours for any given month. Enter the formula. Let's dissect the formula. The average ifs function is designed to compute averages based on multiple criteria, and the EO month function assists in identifying the last day of the month based on a given start date. After inputting the formula, press enter to initiate the calculation. Excel will then compute the average working hours for the specified date range, which corresponds to the dates falling within the selected month. To calculate the average for various months, copy the formula down the column. As you do this, the formula will intelligently adjust to the new date ranges, ensuring accurate monthly averages. It's crucial to ensure that your date cells are correctly formatted to display in a MYYYY format. This custom format is not only visually clear but also essential for the formula to process the dates correctly. After the formula has been applied, verify the calculated averages by cross-referencing them with your original data. Use the Decrease Decimal button in the Number section under the Home tab to adjust the displayed decimal places for consistency. Congratulations! You've successfully learned how to calculate the average working hours by month in Excel, a skill that will significantly aid in time management, project tracking, and workforce analysis. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and in-depth tutorials to enhance your data analysis capabilities.